My name is Anna Ziapshipa. I'm from Georgia and uh, Zoya. Uh, hi, I'm Zoya Falkova. I'm from Kazakhstan. And we have an uh, opportunity to speak about the archives, uh, which is such a broad topic, and, but we will try to condense it somehow and make it personal. <laughs> so to refer Ilya Kabakov's word about his work named The Man Who Never Threw Anything Away, I'm the woman who never throws a anything away somehow, <laughs> so I'm a collector. So I would like to refer to several images which inspire my work, uh, which inspired um, the work that I'm doing with the archives. And oh, yeah, did something happen with that? <laughs> yeah. So I'd refer with two images that were very important images to me. So the first one is a um, destroyed archive in Abkhazia. And Abkhazia is a breakaway territory which exists, unrecognized state which exists um, in neighboring Georgia. And um, it was part of the Georgia and it was part of the Georgia for ages. But after the fall of the Soviet Union, Abkhazians decided to go independent as well. And I'm partly from Abkhazia, but living in Georgia. Uh, so somehow this image deconstructing, uh, destroying the Abkhazian archive and leaving these people without any collective memory somehow was really striking image for me because it happened in 1992 and all this memory were lost, was lost because of the war and these people are left. Okay, these people are left without any memory. So somehow this image was very important image uh, because I never been to Abkhazia after, after the war, like 25 years. But uh, in 2013, I had the opportunity to uh, cross the border and go to my home and uh, see the people there who are living there without any family albums, any personal histories and any collective histories. So somehow it was inspiration for me to reconstruct the archive virtually. So my project was connected to that destroyed archive and uh, how, it, how it is possible using new technologies and new media to reconstruct that uh, destroyed uh, collective memory. I tried to find some different uh, documents, visual forms of the archive, music, and put it online. So um, this is the, my possibility to support part of my identity to reconstruct their memories. The another image that I would like to refer is a film image from the Jean-Gabriel Perriot film, Even If She Had Been a Criminal, which is uh, another importance of the archive nowadays. Actually, it's kind of a personification of the history and uh, how the uh, history could be read in different side, how the history can have a um, different voice and second chance to read. So that image was very important also to refer, it refers to my works as well somehow, and I tried to also use the official archives and somehow personalize that work, uh, that archive in my, in my work, in my films and my projects. Uh, so I would say a word about the future of the archives, and I meant that digitalization of the archives is also very important, but that's not also the safe place also to keep all these memories and documents. So, but it's a, it's a chance also to have that possibility to keep them. But to uh, also to curate another time, Ilya Kabakov's words about the archives, I think it's a very important thing about speaking about the future of the archives. It also continuously generates something. This is where some kinds of shoots come from, new projects, ideas, a certain enthusiasm arises, hopes for the rebirth of something new. So I think the future use the archive can refer to that word.